Hello and welcome to the Tinker Cards Video Gallery. I'm just going to have another play with my jelly plate today and um, I'm just trying to build up texture and the idea I got is almost like working in reverse. So what I want to see when I pull my print off on the surface I will have to lay down first. So I'm going to start with a sponge and some a bit of yellow acrylic paint. I'm just going to pop that a little bit onto bits of my sponge. Just bear with me. So just like this, yeah. And I'm going to use that and I just a sort of dab this on my jelly plate. And that should hopefully dry relatively quickly. And whilst I'm waiting for it to dry, I'm also sort of dabbing it off on a piece of white card because that could give me quite a nice um, background in a way for something else. It's always quite good to have plenty of card stock ready when you work with a jelly plate because it will give you the, the most use of your paints. So this is quite slow because obviously the sponge is a little bit wet. Hmm. So I will have to, I probably will have to chat. <laughs> well, hmm, what am I going to say about this? I haven't really played much with my jelly blade, neither have I watched um, plenty of videos. This is more for me like a way of experimenting and learning through play really. It's quite good to sometimes watch videos. Uh, some of them are very professional, which is really a sort of um, a very well edited and they make it look desperately easy. Um, sometimes I'm not so sure, especially when I'm not really, when, I have to, when it's something I haven't tried, um, whether I can get up to that standard anyway. So hence I prefer to have all of my videos unedited because quite often you pick up things through almost like other people's pitfalls and um, I find them quite good um, for my own learning process. So I think there's some bits that are dry enough already, I'll just start to go over this anyway now. So let's just see, I'm going to have like a little um, sponge applicator and a little piece of punchinella. I'm just going to put some red on here, just a little bit. I'm going to put some wet dots through that in places. So let me just see how my best going about this. Can you see this? There's some red. There's a bit more red. And a little bit more. Okay, here. And that. And I'm even going to try and turn it around to see if the jelly plate takes that on as well. Yes, it does. So again, something where you can make use of your um, the paint that you got on something. So let's just try that here. Uh, see, it's got it's pulled the yellow up because the yellow has actually dried now, and I pulled it up. So I need to be quite careful here. And I'm just going to do this. Okay. So with the rest, I'm just going to have a bit of a play on my piece of card that I got next to it. I'm just adding some various amounts of textures really. Just getting as much use of my red paint as possible. Right, let's just put another dollop in there and another one here. And I think that's almost like pretty much how as I get and just yeah 
I'm just smearing this about really. So this is getting on there. And I have hoped once it's nice and dry to be able to put another layer of paint over it and then lift it all off with that. So shall I just am I going to be too impatient now if I was going to try and pop it down? Hmm. Because some of the yellow isn't really dry yet. So let's see the red is getting there. I'm going to risk it because the worst thing that is probably to do is this this yellow here isn't very dry so I'm just going to uh, it might mix in with my green paint initially I was going to put some blue with it but I don't think I'll do the blue so let's just get the green paint and my roller on and fingers crossed I'm really not sure what this is going to to do now worst case scenario it's going to absolutely not work at all <laughs> so um yeah let's just have a go so i've got my roller let's see here we go yeah i've only started off lightly rolling because i didn't want it to pull up the paint which it can when it's too dry so this is nice and wet do this rolling the paint off and it's made it look really that weird but never mind so I need to quickly get a piece of card and see what, what it does let's just go with it and I'm going to use my roller and roll it over it because I want it to adhere quite well to the card it can be done by just pressing but I prefer using my roller for that I must say Okay, so now is the big reveal. Fingers crossed that this will work. Oh, here we go. Look, you got uh, a print, you got the red on, you got the yellow flex on. So yeah, I could have done a little bit better maybe. But I think for a trial it's not too bad and you can always add to it with stamping on or spritzing some inks on and it actually looks as if it's got some texture I don't know if you can see this but um, it does look a bit uh, sort of raised here where the, where the yellow is so overall I think I'm relatively pleased but of course I've got a lot more to learn and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to keep on playing. Okay, hope you enjoyed this little session today and I'll show you back again soon. Have a lovely day. Bye.